Okay, uh, this is going to be a quick video talking about um, adding a scale constraint to Pix4D um, project. So um, this is a project um, that I'm working on with Lynn Resler. Um, the idea is that um, we she took a number of sort of pole photogrammetry uh, photos of a glacial area, um, and we're reconstructing this. But because the point cloud is on a very small area, so this is about two meters square. Um, the the GPS associated with the camera, and this was a GoPro nine, um, is just too um, too lousy um, to be able to um, uh, get a good sort of metric reconstruction of the site. So we need to add a scale constraint, um, and what that's going to do is that's going to increase the size of the point cloud um, to the correct limits. Um, I'm just going to add one scale constraint here. Um, you can add multiple ones uh, if you've got other measurements to kind of dial things in. Um, what we're going to use is actually this notebook, um, which is a, a 24 by 30 centimeter notebook. Um, so the way this, this works is I'm in the ray cloud here, uh, and we just go into um, a new scale constraint. And then I'm going to mark the, um, the point cloud here, and you can see the, the notebook sort of reconstructing there. You don't need to get this part exactly, but we'll just sort of pick out a corner, so that's a left mouse click, and then a right mouse click um, to finish that off. Uh, and then as you can see, we can, um, we can do a pretty good job of, of kind of dialing this in um, when we're here. So because the rock is in this corner, which I didn't notice before, um, we'll move that up to this corner, and we'll move this one down uh, to that corner. So I'm just uh, using a left mouse button here to click and drag um, these uh, squares and then you can see that once it once you start on this it, it does a pretty good job of, of finding it so I often will just do three um, and we'll hit uh, well then we need to um, type in our um, measured length um, so this is a 24 by 30 centimeter notebook uh, and then the diagonal then measures um, 38.4 centimeters. I'm putting this in as, as meters, so 0.384 meters, um, and then I'll just hit apply here. Um, the, the marks will go green, um, and then we can re-optimize the project. Um, this usually only takes uh, a moment. Writing the tie points. And should be done here in just a second. All right. So um, we can regenerate the quality report. I don't need to do that. Um, but um, now we can take a look at it and things um, should be scaled uh, nicely. Uh, and now we can kind of proceed um, to step two with the generation of the point cloud.